Hello, welcome to Ethan Davis News. We start off today with a tragic story from White Castle recalling hundreds of their microwavable slider boxes. This recall affects a number of their 16-pack burgers, including the jalapeno cheeseburger. The recall has come after the U.S. Food and Drug Administration found possible listeria contamination, which can cause headaches and diarrhea. All of the burgers with the express date from August 4th to August 17th, 2020, have been removed from the shelf. Up next, we have Merriam-Webster's Word of the Year, as they has risen by 313% in searches in the last year. Webster's is facing major backlash, but they say it's all in the numbers. As in 2017, the word feminism was the number one word by Webster's words. This just in, the Democrats are attacking Elon Musk for asking Jeff Gordon to join NASCAR again. Sources say after, this, after last weekend's banquet in Nashville, Musk was caught on the phone asking Gordon to step back into the NASCAR cockpit for a season with Tesla. Gordon had this to say about the altercation. He was just asking me for a favor. They can't find anyone else dumb enough to drive one of his electric cars that will have to charge every 12 laps. The Democratic Party is now asking Elon Musk to step down at his CEO position at Tesla. Elon Musk had this to say about the situation. It was just a friend helping a friend. But after further investigation, it was found that he would withhold any more further expansions to the Tesla market in California if Jeff Gordon did not accept this offer. This just in, Santa Claus landing on all the roofs in town. Rudolph stealing all of the Christmas food from Prancer and Dancer. Thank you, Christmas. On our fifth story of the night, we have Cleveland Golf coming out and accepting Tiger Woods into their family. It's going to be a great time. All right? And then while we're in sports, let's, let's go ahead and hop on down to Georgia, where in Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Georgia has taken on LSU. LSU has taken a commanding... LSU obviously took the commanding lead in the first half of the game with, when Georgia did not have three of their wide receivers. George Pickens was out for fighting and losing to a Georgia Tech player. LSU got the win 37-10. After this Black Friday sale, Victoria's Secret stock has, ri has risen. Speaking of shopping and Christmas, this Black Friday, Victoria's Secret stock has risen by 3%. We know their secret. It's getting up there. Congratulations, Victoria's Secret. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Sorry for this interruption, but the Trump administration has just been denied billions for his border wall. Federal Judge David Bryans did not said that the money is not needed for more southern walls. Although Trump has raised already $4 billion and has started 11 wall projects, much like this one we're standing in front of here. This one goes 4 feet into the ground and 13 feet in the air. This is already going 100 miles to the left of us and 100 miles to the right of us. But Trump wants to, like Trump said, he wants to expand it from ocean to ocean. So just bring it back to you. Thank you, son. Now head to Washington, D.C. as we go to Donald Trump's impeachment trial. If impeached, Donald Trump will be one of only a handful of presidents to be, to be impeached from office, although not the first on the Capitol Hill. After Ukraine's oil into looking into, from Joe Biden's son, Donald Trump will be facing many, many fa- New this week, three people have been charged with a pyramid scheme of a cryptocurrency known as Bitcoin. They have scammed them out of $722 million. Very tragic. New today, over 300 Saudi military aviation students grounded after U.S. shooting. Not good, but it can't be. Weather time, baby. Here we go. It's going to be raining the rest of this Wednesday, all right? Thursday, it should be sunny. It's my predictions. I ain't even going to look at the weather app. See this right here? It's going to be raining tomorrow again. We're going to carry on the rain, okay? Then, then come this Sunday, during the weekend, we're going to hit a little bit more rain, all right? Then, you know, we're going to hit the strong arm, John Point Associates. We're going to get more rain than ever. It is the hottest December right now, and... We are currently in a bedroom that is 95 degrees inside in here, and I think I'm going to pass out. This is not going to be good. The weather is going to be great. Also, speaking about sports, here's my predictions. Oklahoma will get beaten, and LSU has a national championship in their hand. 
Go Tigers. Heading down south to the land of hospitality, fried chicken, and history of blowing championship games, Atlanta, Georgia is getting one of the first flipped restaurants. Flipped is a restaurant concept from IHOP, which is based on grab and go. This new restaurant will promote some of their nine breakfast items such as hot dogs, hamburgers, and salads. The, the vice president of IHOP also hopes that this will be a great way for franchisees to get into the business because they will not have to build one of their 4,000 square foot facilities. That's all folks, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.